to get you more from that space. It's right now time to talk about the biggest story of the day where the center's mega bank recapitalization plan was announced. And let's go across to Sapna Das, who's with the DEA secretary. The announcement has been made by the cabinet. Big decisions, uh, uh, you know, have been clear. So coming very quickly to the issue of the public sector bank recapitalization plan and the fact that 1.35 lakh crores worth of recap bonds will be issued. We understand, of course, that it will be the government that will be issuing the bonds to the, you know, uh, to the concerned banks who will need that kind of support. Uh, how is this entire mechanism going to pan out? No, see, FM made an announcement that the nature of the, uh, the recapitalization bond, who would issue the cap recapitalization bonds, the terms of the recapitalization bonds are all still to be finalized. So we will we'll finalize in the next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks, sir, because uh, we, what we understand is that, you know, this will be the end of uh, uh, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September. So two quarters are already over. Uh, it's the third quarter that is going on right now. So, uh, you know, obviously the money will have to be given to them via bonds and there is no cash outgo in this. So a couple of weeks over here or, or probably two to three weeks? Finalizing the uh, scheme, yeah, a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. So sometime around December is when we can expect the announcement. Finalizing this scheme, yes. Finalizing the scheme somewhere around December. Maybe sooner. Maybe sooner. Maybe sooner, sir. Uh, having done that, uh, you know, 1.35 lakh crores. Now we have been told that it's going to be front loaded over the next four quarters. So do we understand that that may start uh, from the third quarter itself, somewhere around November, December, if you're able to finalize, and then of course the last quarter of the current year. Finalize the scheme. Some part will come this year. Some some part will go next year. Uh, we, do we also understand that somewhere around, you know, 50 to 60 or 1,000 crores probably this Let's year? Let's not put any number at this stage. Yeah. So we also very clearly understand that since there is no cash outgo, uh, most likely this entire exercise is going to be, you know, offline. Uh, there is not going to be any impact on the fiscal deficit. Uh, the finance minister has also made it very clear that, you know, the consolidation roadmap, we have been pretty good, very strong on that so far. The story has been very clear so far. So do you expect to continue on that? And this will be probably an offline exercise. That is what we understand as of now. No, nobody said offline. In the if, sense, it will not impact the deficit. Yeah, so if the government issues it and the asset is there, the investment in equity, it is cash neutral. It, in that sense, doesn't add deficit uh, to the deficit uh, because there is an investment on the other side. That's right. But it certainly adds to the debt. So uh, in the conventional fiscal accounting, uh, this would be a part of the fiscal deficit but not necessarily adding to the fiscal deficit as such. Yeah, so not impacting the 3.2% the target for the current fiscal, so to speak, but being part of the overall debt picture. As I, as I said, uh, still the nature, uh, whether the government would be issuing or there may be an, another investment vehicle, etc., those options are still to be discussed and decided. Right. So one more question here. Had it been something that would have impacted your deficit target for the current year, then definitely the government still had the option of going to the market and doing an additional borrowing and giving the public sector banks direct capital infusion and additionality, apart from what is there in Indra Dhanush. The fact that you have not done that and you have suggested recap bonds, number one. Number two, once the recap bonds come in, then the banks will also be strengthened further to go and raise money from the markets. So isn't, isn't the picture very clear? We are trying our level best, the government is trying its level best to keep it as fiscal deficit neutral as possible. Absolutely. So the, the option of making market borrowing and then investing is not being exercised at all. Right. So does this also close the chapter in terms of, uh, you know, you had indicated when the second half of the borrowing calendar was being finalized that, you know, probably if required, need be, you know, sometime December, Jan, we may take a call if an additional borrowing is required or not. So, uh, you know, is there a softening in that stance as of now, sir? At least, uh, I said the same thing today also, that in December we'll take a view about where uh, our uh, uh, receipts and expenditure situation stands. Mm -hmm. Uh, as of now, we are committed to stay, stay on the course. Yeah. As of now. And sir, how is the position looking uh, in terms of the revenues and the expenditure side? Because, you know, uh, the sense that we're getting is that the government is really short of money in the current financial year. How do you say short of money? I mean, this is what the broader sense is. So please, if you could, uh, you know, no, say something. We, the, the expenditure is on track. It's, it's a very uh, front-loaded expenditure. We 
had more than 54% of the expenditure in six months. Mm -hmm. So expenditure story is extremely good. Uh, that's what the government committed to in spending. Mm -hmm. Revenue, there's some bit of uncertainty mm -hmm. still about how the GST things play out, etc. Mm -hmm. And that we will be able to make final assessment as we go along. Right. Uh, so one last question that I want to raise is this, that, um, uh, you know, revenue expenditure side, PSB. Also the fact, sir, that, you know, the government has not uh, agreed to any additional budgetary support to public sector bank recapitalization. Would you like to say anything on that? I have already asked that question in a different way, sir. No, where is the question of additional? Uh, the, the recapitalization bond is the, the option proposed, right? So I think that's clear enough. You also mentioned that probably the worst for the economy is over. So 30th November, I think the Q2 numbers will be out. So uh... oh, certainly that is very clear story. Every indicator you look at it point out that uh, the bottoming out is over. The economy is on a strong recovery path. And that should hopefully be visible in the numbers which we see in November. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving time to CNBC TV. Thank you.